first guest tonight is a Golden Globe nominated actor from films such as Aaron Brockovich and The Dark Knight. He now stars in the upcoming boxing film Bleed for This. You know, Kev, I'm getting pretty sick of people talking about me like I'm dead. Like I died in that car wreck. Like it's just over for me. Kev, I'm gonna fight again. No, you ain't, Vinny. That's what everybody here knows. I'm afraid to say it to your face. I'm not gonna fight again. It's over. Please welcome Aaron Eckhart. <laughs> Sing your praises first. That You're that the tin praise. foil segment was off the hook. <laughs> You're amazing. We got to some truths. We got to some. No, truths I know. Yeah. No, I really one. related yeah. to that. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, you people did. People think you were joking. No, 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 no. I wasn't joking. I'm no, just I'm... high. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a superstitious person? Yeah. Because I shook your hand backstage and you went, now you've ruined it. Well, I had my, my when they're showing the clip, I had my my fingers in my ears and I was watching, and then you came and shook my hand. I mean, it's. I mean, all downhill from there. Do you not watch your own self on the clips, like when you go on no. the show? No. Why? No. You're a very good actor. You should watch your movies. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did you not want to watch it because? Did you not watch it because you don't like the way you look bald? No, is that I actually love that. I mean, it's it's a precursor for me in five years or six years. You know, I know what I'm going to look than, like when I get some gain some weight and. Uh, well, you're, you play uh, basically a boxing coach in this, but are you, you like sports of all kinds, right? Yes, I am a sports fan. Did right. you watch the World Series last night? You know, it's interesting because I was just thinking about this. Um, I was watching at home, then I got in my car to go to the premiere of Bleed for This. I was listening to it on the radio. I went to the premiere, I heard people talk about it. Then I went from the premiere to LAX. I listened to it on the way to LAX. Then when I got on the airport, I saw it on the television, then I got on the plane, the gentleman in front of me was, was uh, watching it on his phone out loud in front of me, and then when they won, I heard in the back, it says, I heard, Cubs win. That's so I, that, that was the entire streamline of that game yesterday. I mean, so I went from my house all the way to New York City last night on the red eye, and Cubs win. Where are you, oh, you, who are you pulling for? Yeah. <laughs> Who did, who did you want to Listen, win, Eric? Don't Eckhart? make me do that. Come on. Don't make me choose. Come on, grow a pair. I, Come on. <laughs> what's this? Listen, like, man. Why, say, why you are you so Indians, competitive? I'm not a competitive at all. I'm just no, curious. I, you, you, don't know, have, I, you don't actually I, have to no. have opinions. No, I. <laughs> All right, I've gotten fine. this far without having any. <laughs> no, listen, I, I liked both coaches. I liked the fact that I could relax and watch this game without a dog in the fight. You know, and while, meanwhile, you know, everybody else is, you know, chewing their fingernails off and, yeah. you know, having a miserable time. I, I liked that during much. the fight, there was like, you didn't know what you didn't think about politics at all. Like, there was like, yeah. the, the rest of the world was crazy. Just it was so consuming. I, I only thought about politics when I was watching this game. <laughs> <laughs> well... And then when I think about politics, it, I think about the Cubs. You know, it's really, really? interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people think about I think baseball. I'm a little bit. People think yeah. about baseball when they're having sex sometimes. Always. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you Batter why. Batter up. I'll tell. <laughs> okay. Now you you actually you're, you're an honest to God sports guy. Like you actually like doing sports. You. Box, right? It's a boxing movie, but you actually enjoy boxing. Well, when I, I did a movie called Aaron Brockovich 20 years ago. Yeah. 20 years ago. Wow. Wow. And uh, I decided, you know how everybody has to be beefcake in this business? You know, everybody's got to have the muscles and you got to have Tell the. Tell me about it, baby. Yeah, baby. You know? <laughs> I saw you. My eyes are up here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. You know? Yeah. So I said, okay, if I have to get in shape for this business, you know, uh, that I'm going to learn a skill. And so I learned boxing. And so for 20 years, I have on and off continually boxed. Every time I work out, I rope or I shadow box. I've had trainers and done. Okay, rope or shadow box, but do you actually go out there and have people throw punches at you? Sometimes, yeah. 
And I could say to but that's, I, you, this is where the magic is, baby. Hey, you got to protect the you got to protect the money maker. Hey, Why? It's, it's it's perfect to be imperfect, baby. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> no, no. I, don't I mean, how could mean. you? I know what you mean. How, how but do you, you actually you enjoy what someone I could punches to, you in the face? I could say to my trainer, I could say, okay, tell me when you're going to punch me. Tell me where you're going to punch me. And he says, okay, Aaron, I'm going to punch you in the face right there, and I'm going to do it right now. And I still, knowing all that information, I still couldn't get out of the way of the punch. <laughs> Wow, and yeah. you have asked him to punch you in the face. Yes, head. absolutely. And you derive any pleasure from that? Absolutely. <laughs> what do you? What's that? What well, you, you have to toughen yourself up. You know, I mean, you. <laughs> you do. You have to get a. I saw you your monologue. A, you have to get a face callus. <laughs> so okay, so what? So you go do. So you know what it's like to be punched in the face. I just don't understand you why you enjoy. You think I got enjoying. this nose from God? This nose has been punched nose. in the face. A lovely, pretty face. You're somebody's little boy. Um, <laughs> do you? So you're in a boxing movie. Uh, did you like? Did you? Did you actually? You train Miles Teller. Did you train him for well, real? Did you give him any advice? I. I. I <laughs> did I give him advice? No. What, what happens was um, we did this movie for um, very little money, and he had a trainer. And so when I got to Rhode Island, we filmed this in Cranston, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. um, shout out. Shout out to Cranston. Um, right away, he had a trainer, and his trainer was, a, um, you know, a very renowned trainer. But right away, I said, you know, I got into character, and so I started picking up the bottle whenever he finished training. I, you know, opened his mouth, you know, like, like a little bird, you know, and I would towel him off, and I'd walk around, I'd give him commands, and his trainer's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Until somebody told him I was in the movie. You know, the reason I did that, I wanted to start, you know, nurturing that trainer. Boxer relationship, you know, get in his space, yeah. make it so. And it got to the point on the set that I would only give Miles water. I was the only one that was allowed to give him water or towel him off. Really? Yeah, or say champ or get you know you know that sort of stuff. So rub, say, that rub down after. Yeah, the, the fire rub fire down, down, you know, yeah. the legs, yeah, you know, exactly. really get in there. Did you do the, the same thing with Tom Hanks for Sully. Did you get in there and rub him down after the same? Thing? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I compliment you for the for Sully? Your mustache and Sully was extraordinary. Your performance was wonderful too. Listen. But that mustache in Sully was extraordinary. I could use that as a push broom to clean my garage. <laughs> they're, Is that natural? Was that enhanced? No, in they're any creating way? a new category for it. Um, you know, I mean, it's working harder than I was. It it's started incredible. to give me demands, you know. It's, the mustache did? Yeah. It's it wanted me. its own trailer and everything? Yeah, trailer. Tom would say something. You, you know, I mean, he just didn't have any respect after a while. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't know why Clint let me wear that mustache. Because I'd actually, I grew it, yes, it was mine, but I didn't know how to trim it back. That was the problem. No, there was no, no trimming on yeah. the mustache. Uh, no. But it was very well It looked a little bit like, and I mean this as a compliment, yeah. as if instead of, instead of like a cop, the village people went with a pilot. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. No, I mean, not a huge fan. Against... Some of my best friends are pilots. <laughs> I was love to have you. Yeah, well, thanks, uh, nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for coming. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, I really enjoyed being on your show. Um, <laughs> uh, Bleed for this opens nationwide Friday, November 18th. Aaron Eckhart, everybody. We'll be right back.